Good everyone, my name is Rafix. Today we want to solve an exercise on non flow energy equation. We will be looking at this question that is displayed on your screen. And the question goes like this it says 0 0.75 kilogram of fluid initially at a pressure of 15 bar and specific volume 0 0.1697 meter cube per kilogram expand reversibly and adiabatically according to the law PV is power 1.25 equals to what? C to a pressure and specific volume of 1.5 bar and 0 0.7883 meter cube per kilogram respectively calculate the change in internal energy of the fluid right now in bracket there that is the answer we are supposed to get so first thing you have to do is to write out your parameters right now the parameters here given is we have um, the data the data given the first one if you look at the question it says 0 0.5 kilogram of fluid so we say that the mass of the fluid is equal to what 0 0.75 kilogram that is the mass of the fluid right now at a pressure of 15 bar and specific volume of 0 0.1697 meter cube so the pressure initially that means the initial pressure p1 is equals to what 15 bar right now it's equals to what 15 bar and the initial specific volume at a small v1 right is equals to what 0 0.1697 meter cube per kilogram now expand reversibly and adiabatically so it's making you understand that what there is no heat input so the summation of what all the heat into the system is equal to what zero so why are we doing that because it's what is an adiabatic right it expands reversibly and adiabatic so it's adiabatic so you should have that that's why we have this now to the law, the law we are following, we say that PV raised power 1.25 equals to what? C, right? This is the polytropic equation here. Now, from this, it is similar to what? PV to the power of N equals to what? C. So if you compare both of them, it means that what? N is equals to what? 1.25 where n is called the polytropic index now to a pressure now it's moving to a pressure so we're talking about p2 we're talking about p2 which will give us the pressure is giving us uh, to a pressure and specific volume to p2 and small v2 so that will give us what is the p2 there that is 1.5 bar 1.5 bar right and specific volume of 0 0.7883 meter cube per watt kilogram now we are now told to calculate the change in internal energy so we have to calculate what the change that is delta what u u right in internal energy this is what we're looking for is that again now what we are going to do here is this this is a non-flow energy equation right so what you do is you write that recall let me just fit in it here so we have that word recall solution solution now recall we know that the summation of 
the change in it plus the summation of the work input is equals to what change in what in stored energy but the stored energy we're talking about now is the internal energy because you see the stored energy can be the internal or the kinetic or the potential energy but this time we're dealing with what the stored the internal energy we're using you right now from here we we'll move forward now we need to look we already know what e summation of the q is and we said earlier that that is given to what zero due to the fact that what the system is adiabatic right so that is zero that is the first thing we have right now the next we need to look for what summation of what the w that is the work transfer so we know very well that calculating for work transfer let me put it this way calculating calculating for the work transfer that is the w right which is something as saying w one two because we have two states we have state one to state two right is that is the process so the process is from one to two right now what i'll do here is this recall recall that the work transfer is equals to what p2 v2 minus p1 v1 all over what n minus one that is the formula we are going to calculate for our work transfer right now from here we already know that uh, the p2 the p2 here is giving us if you look at our parameters p2 is giving us 1.5 bar now you need to convert it into something that we can make use of now we know very well that from here 1.5 times what one by is are saying one by is are saying 10 is per what 5 pascal that is what one bar right so 1.5 bar means 1.5 times 10 is per what 5 pascal and we know very well if I should break this for more, so like saying 1.5 multiplied by what 10 raised power 2 multiplied by what 10 raised power what? 3 your indices because this is 10 raised power this is 10 raised power 2 10 raised power 3 that is 2 plus 3 is what 5 your indices when the base are equal you add the power now we know very well that this 10 raised power 2 is 100 that is 10 times 10 so 10 times 10 which is 100 that is 10 times 10 right 100 times 1.5 that's going to give us what 100 and what 50 right and we know 10 to power 3 is k that is it's given as what k as in kilo so one, uh, 150 kilo right then we have the pascal still there kilo pascal is that taken so this is how we're going to use so that is the bar here is 1.5 bar is equivalent to what 150 kilo pascal so we are going to do the same thing for what for p1 to save our time now the same thing for 15 bar same thing as i think 15 times what 10 raised to the power what 5 pascal that is what one bar is now the same thing we move 15 will give me a saying 15 times what 10 raised to the power 2 times what 10 raised to the power 3 pascal right but we know that 10 raised to the power 2 is 100 so 100 times 15 is what 1500 so we have 1500 and 10 to the power 3 is k that is 1000 which is this is a kilo that is k then we have pa so 15 bar is equivalent to what 1500 kilopascal so this is what we are going to use here so if i should say p2 here right it's something that's saying 150 kilopascal so i'm going to, going to write that P2 is 150 multiplied by the V2 here is given as what 0 0.7883 right so this is 0 0.7883 now put it into the brackets 
minus P1, like we calculate earlier, the P1 is giving us 1,500 kilopascal. So I'm going to go there and put the 1,500 kilopascal. Multiply by V1. The V1 also is giving us from where we have the initial volume 0.1697. So I'm going to go there and put 0.1697 into the bracket here. So all divided by what? The N, we know the N is giving us what? 1.25. And I say this is the polytropic index minus 1. Right? So from here, this will now be giving us, this will be equals to 150 times um, 0 0.7883. That is going to give me, let's see, 150 times 0 0.8883 will give me 118.24. So we have 118.24 minus 1500 times this times 0 0.1697 is going to give me 25. 254.55 right everything here divided by what 0 0.25 because 1.25 minus 1 is what 0 0.25 so from here we move forward if you subtract these two we are going to be having minus 545.24 so this is minus 545.24 divided by what 0 0.25 so when you do that no no that when you do that we'll be having this let's see sorry um 118.24 minus this is going to give me minus 136.31 so let me just rewrite this here to give me minus 136.31 all over 0 0.25 right so when we move forward on this, if we divide this by this, that is minus 136.31 divided by 0 0.25, we are going to be having uh, minus 545.25, right? This is what we have here. Now, this is in what? This is in kilojoule per what? Kilogram. Is that the thing? So in this case here now, if you check the answer that is displayed on your screen, this is in kilojoule per kilogram. So if you want to convert into kilogram per kilojoule, into kilojoule as a whole, remember that we said that the intensive property, let me take you back the memory link, we say the intensive property is equal to what? The extensive property, right? All over what? All over mass, right? So now, Intensive is the small specific volume. So we need to want to convert just to extensive because our answer is in what? Is in intensive nature, right? Is in per unit mass. So if we want to convert to just on this uh, on just um, extensive, if you multiply, it means that my extensive property, right, is equal to what? Intensive times what? Times mass. Right? So what is the intensive here? We have five four five point what? Two five, right now what is the mass from our initial question here our mass is giving us um, look at our mass here the mass given here is giving us 0 0.75 what kilogram so we'll move there and see that we have the 0 0.45 kilogram so we have 0 0.75 is that taken so if you multiply minus 545.25 multiplied by 0 0.75 right multiplied by 0 0.75 we are going to be having minus 408.93 kilogram so this is the work transfer which is then saying the w right which is the total um, work in the system by like summation of all the work in the system that is minus 408.0.93 now from the from equation one right so this is if you want it in per unit mass this is the answer but in just in kilojoule right sorry kilojoule this is what the answer here now we are not done 
So we already have the summation of the W, which is this, and we already say that what summation of uh, the Q is what zero. So if you input your value here, let me just if you input the value here from here, right? If you input your value here, summation of the Q here is what? Summation of the Q, since it's adiabatic, we say it is what zero. So it means that zero, right? Plus the W we calculated just now, we say it is what minus four zero eight point nine three in bracket minus four zero eight point nine three, right? Nine three. Now equals to what change in internal energy. Now, if you look at this now, minus times zero, minus times plus is minus, and zero minus anything will give you anything minus anything, right? So we say that my delta U, which is change in energy, in energy, is equals to what minus four zero eight point nine three kilojoule. So this is what this is my answer, right? So. If you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to like the video. Thanks for watching.